Hey guys, I know it's been a while since I posted any of my vlogs, but I'm finally back. So um, as you may know from my previous vlogs and um, if you guys follow me on my social media, I have been training since January in a training camp in Enyo Laguna and in Inspire Academy for um, multiple competitions this year. Um, and it's been tough and um, if you are updated, unfortunately I wasn't able to make uh, Tokyo. I didn't qualify for um, the Olympics and um, it took me some time to to accept and grieve um, since that's been my dream. Since I was a little girl, um, I trained so hard, I sacrificed so much, but I think um, looking back at everything, um, the way I am now, the whole experience, I feel like it definitely made me a stronger person. Um, although it, it was so heartbreaking, I learned so much about myself along the way. I learned so much about other people, my teammates, um, my coaches. Yeah, there's a reason why everything happens, right? So it took me some time to accept it and I know I've been off of social media for a while but now I'm back. So if you guys have been watching the Olympics, which I know you guys have, I just feel so, so, so proud to be Filipino, so proud to represent the country. It's just crazy. So many events, uh, so many inspiring stories. I am still speechless. So I'm here to talk about that and talk about what I've been doing and talk about the whole experience. I'm just so excited that um, I'm able to release a vlog this time. So stay tuned. Today I decided to do my skincare routine. Oh, I can't do her. The first question that I'm gonna answer is, what did you learn after the Olympic qualifiers? Upon um, competing, it was really hard for me to accept what was happening, to accept that I lost. I think that's a natural response to it. I mean, if you truly care about something, the feeling is you can't really explain it. But what I did learn after the Olympic qualifiers is that no matter what happens, win, lose, or draw, what matters the most is that you gave your ultimate best. No hesitation, no regrets, just give your ultimate best. And I feel like that is what I did in the tournament. And there's that saying that I keep with me, it's not about reaching the top, it's about the climb. So the months that I was training, the months that I was putting everything, my all, into something that I really wanted to achieve. I feel that that whole experience, I'm gonna take that with me forever. Um, I learned so much about work ethic, so much about um, really true sacrifice, especially during this time. Um, I was away from my family. I was in a bubble for about six months. Um, if you really want something so bad, you'll be willing to sacrifice everything just to get that and that's something that um, not only I went through but my teammates and coaches they all sacrificed and um, huge shout out to my association Philippine Taekwondo Association um, MVPSF and and the Philippine Sports Commission for putting us and and providing us a training bubble to do that so thank you overall on top of that after losing um, the acceptance stage is definitely so hard but it's a part of life you know you don't always get what you really want what I learned over time is that it's a process you can't just be okay right away right so it's a process about learning how to do things so 
there's this saying that's been sticking with me after you know talking to a lot of my family and friends um they always tell me no it's okay i understand that and and it's hard to really truly e express how you feel but the quote that stayed with me is what is delayed is not denied so that's something that i've just been reading over and over those passages that and excerpts actually that um is helping me get through it or has helped me get through it um, I think no matter how hard or how strong you feel sometimes it's okay not to be okay you're gonna have those moments I feel I feel like we all have those moments where you just don't feel okay and I think you have to give yourself some time to process some things um, and it definitely makes you a better person you can take this with you wherever you go, whatever you're doing. So after the, that tournament, I tried to absorb, digest everything that I've learned throughout the months and try to apply whatever I've learned now and in the future things that I'm going to do. So I know it's tough, it was hard, but um, I truly believe that I grew as a person. So. My word of advice when something happens like that is to just really take some time to reflect and you can either journal, you can pray, you can talk to your family or friends about it, but ultimately it's what you take out of it, the lesson that you learn from it, how you can apply that for later on in life. Nice punch. So how I did cope with um, what happened was I didn't take some time for myself. Uh, like I said earlier, I reflected, uh, took a short break, and um, I went back to training. Actually, after the tournament, we came back to Manila and did a 10-day quarantine. And, it, and although we were in a hotel, uh, I went straight to training. Uh, that saying is, if there's a will, there's a way. So me and my teammates would move some furniture around and continue to train and and just try to enjoy each other's company because we didn't know um, if we're ever going to get that chance again, if we're ever going to compete together again. Everything is, um, we're living in a time of uncertainty, but we still had some hope. So we still trained together. We still enjoyed our time together. Next, another way that I did cope is I found comfort in silence. I found comfort in praying and asking God for guidance, for strength, for knowledge. And sometimes um, when I was praying, I didn't even need to say anything. I just let my heart talk. Um, and there were moments where I just was sitting in silence and just let myself go and just started crying. So um, we're all human. We're, we're all going to go through that. but. Um, I think it's part of it. So, So um, July happened. I know we all watched the Olympics. It was just so inspiring. Um, from watched and screamed on top of my lungs when I saw my teammate fight. It's just amazing what what they did. What how Olympics happened this year? How they made it happen? It's truly an event that is so inspiring. It's empowering and and ignited a fire in me again. 
um, after watching certain competitions and reading inspiring stories, I would just train right away or I would go straight to the gym and just work out or um, I would read about the inspiring stories and and watch videos and, and listen to how athletes really, um, how they got to where they were in the Olympics. So the next question that I am going to answer is how did I feel when I saw Hidalyn Diaz get the gold medal in the Olympics? It meant so much because it inspired us all and united us all as a country, as fellow Filipinos. We saw and, and we, ah, I'm getting teary, I'm just talking about it, but she really did show the world and all the Filipino athletes that competed and to so much you guys for representing us in Tokyo. It's just so inspiring. You have no idea how many people you touched, how many kids you inspired to do sports, to pursue their dreams and goals. So thank you again. I also just want to take this time to thank you guys for always supporting me. Um, I posted a, a short post after um, a month from competing, um, just thanking you guys for praying for not only me but for the whole team. Um, and I read you guys' messages and it just made my heart so happy that uh, you guys had so many nice words to say, so many uplifting uh, messages, so thank you so much for that. And before I go, um, I just want to say stay tuned for the next couple of weeks and months for what's to come for the next vlogs and updates on my social media platform. So thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to hear from you guys on the comment section and um, in my inbox so take care stay safe and see y'all soon god bless